when you do sensitive analysis of, of people's uh, uh, oxygen concentrations in their skin, that in their feet, when they smoke a cigarette, their oxygen levels in the skin of their feet decrease by 33%. Wow. And they stay there, they stay there for an hour. So, so we, here we are bending over backwards trying to improve things mm -hmm. and we tell the patients, you can't be working against us by smoking a cigarette. Right, and, and it's not necessarily the tar that your family doctor doesn't want you to take into your lungs, it's the nicotine that, uh, that's in the cigarette that doesn't necessarily cause cancer, but the half-life of nicotine is 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So if you have one cigarette, that nicotine is in your system for two full days. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so if you chain smoke, or even if you smoke four cigarettes a day, the amount of nicotine that you bring in your body can really tremendously hurt all efforts that we make to heal a wound. Mm -hmm. um, you had sent me a patient a, a month ago on a fellow who had an ulcer in, in his lower back and it, it was not healing. Well, it healed wonderfully, but it got to a point where it just needs to be closed surgically. And the way that we do that is to take some of the muscles from his, his bottom, his, his buttocks, and move that into the wound and then skin graft on top of that. It's a mm -hmm. big surgery. Um, and the surgery still hasn't occurred yet because it refuses to do two things. Stop smoking uh, and buy a bed that will allow him to offload it. Mm -hmm.